Hey everyone, it's Christina from Our Wood Home. I forgot to film the intro for my grocery video on the day that I filmed that video. So I'm doing the intro now, a few days later. I did my grocery shopping for April and I thought I'd show you what I got. So let's take a look at all that stuff. This is the first category, which I'm calling household and I guess miscellaneous items. I also made a stop at Home Depot as well as the grocery store. So that's why some things look maybe out of place at a grocery store. I got a big pack of toothpaste because that was something I needed to get for my um, stockpile, I guess, as well as some new toothbrushes. I switch my toothbrush every season, so I got some extras. I think that it's kind of hard to buy toothpaste to stockpile because it does expire, so be sure to check those expiration dates. I also got more toilet cleaner because um, that's going in stockpile, and I needed some shampoo and conditioner, so I stocked up on those as well, just for everyday use, I mean, not for stockpile. I picked up these metal foil um, freezer containers from the dollar store, actually, and I thought they'd be pretty good for making meals for sort of long-term storage in the freezer. I also got a box of envelopes because I just needed those for mailing things and some seed packets. As I said, I went to Home Depot. I got these Nestorium to grow along the chicken's um, fence to hopefully provide a little bit of shade for them. And it just looks pretty. And I got a mixed pack of seeds to send to a friend. I also got a set of gardening gloves. These are just cheap gloves. They were only a dollar and I'm not sure they're gonna last very long but I have such a hard time finding good quality gardening gloves that also fit my very small hands. I've tried the child sizes, but they're unfortunately too small. I got a nice indoor plant watering can with a narrow spout um, for us to use on our seedlings. Now onto my frozen items. I'm gonna start with the vegetables, or I guess vegetable singular. I got a big package of corn, I don't have any specific meals planned for this, but I like to just always have it in the freezer because I enjoy using that in a variety of recipes. I'm actually hoping to grow some corn this year and either can or freeze it to eat throughout the year, so that should be fun. I also just got one package of butter because it was not on sale, and I prefer to buy it on sale. And some mixed bags of fruit for smoothies. This brand is pretty good. I don't care for the grapes in it, but it is what it is. It's inexpensive and it's pretty good quality. I also got some plain strawberries and a package of frozen watermelon. This is kind of hit and miss. It's an interesting taste, but it's not very flavorful. I did get a fair bit of meat this month because it was on sale and I could think of several meals to make with this so I thought that was a good purchase. We don't purchase meat every month because it's just not something we eat a lot of since it is pretty expensive most of the time. I didn't get any frozen fruit because I still have some bags in the freezer so I didn't feel the need to buy that this time. I did try something new though, this creamsicle ice cream. It was pretty good and fairly inexpensive so definitely worth the treat if you can find it. Now on to, I guess, canned or pantry things and fruit. I got just a few apples. Um, I can't remember what kind these are. Gala apples from Ontario. I don't really eat apples, so these are for David. I did get a nice pineapple. I know that's not in season in Ontario, but I got it anyways. Also some potatoes that were on discount. I could think of several recipes for these and I might save a few to grow in my garden. I also got some pears that were on clearance um, on the discount shelf because they were a little bit squishy and dented, I guess. I ended up drying these as a snack to have for later. I also got bananas. I think I'll make banana bread and then dry the rest because we just can't eat them fast enough. And I got these pink muscat grapes, which I was so excited to find. I tried them for the first time last year 
and they have such a short growing season so I didn't think I'd get to try them again so I was pretty happy to see them this early. They were very expensive but definitely worth it. I also got some Triscuits for David to have as a snack. Sometimes I see these for a really good deal around two dollars a box so I'll get multiple if that's the case but not this time. I needed some brown sugar for baking so I got two packages of that. Also some large bags of oats to use in various recipes. I think I might keep one in the pantry just to save for later. I'm officially out of home canned tomatoes so I had to buy a few cans from the store and I also bought a bag of white sugar to use in baking. That's what I got for the month of April. I also got some laundry detergent and flour um, and potting soil because we're going to be doing our vegetable seedlings soon. Um, and David has been growing some seeds, tree seeds, so we needed some extra potting soil anyways. I'm just sitting on the floor now with our dog, Bet. She's facing the other way. Um, but yeah, that's what I got for April. Thank you so much for coming along with me for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and found it interesting. If you did, please let me know in the comments. And if you like what you see, I hope that you consider subscribing. Thank you so much and have a great rest of your day. I want to apologize if you were hearing any banging or thumping or just general weird noises throughout this video. It was my dog chewing on a bone. I'm working in the dining room right now so I can keep an eye on her in the living room because she has um, a torn ligament in her knee and needs to be resting and just keeping still and we can't trust her not to try to go up the stairs which have a gate um, or to jump up on the couch or just run around and be silly. So we've been trying to keep her calm and keep an eye on her and sometimes that means giving her a noisy toy or activity to do to keep her calm. So again, I do apologize if you hear any weird noises through this video.